So we're now looking to post and a purchase invoice on stage, so an invoice from a supplier. At the top here you have expenses tab, click on purchase invoices. You'll then get this purchase invoice list appear. The list is currently empty but it will fill up with invoices as we put them on. So click on record invoice, that green button there. You'll then have the new purchase invoice screen appear that will look like this. So first of all you need to bring up your supplier, so our supplier was stationary supplies. If you put in the first letter of the supplier, so put in S, it will bring up all your suppliers that begin with S, or that have an S in their name. If you need to put a new supplier on, so you come across purchase invoice that you haven't put on from a supplier before, click this create new supplier button. So this button just next to the name and the same box appears as under contacts and suppliers and you can just add the new supplier, click save and then find them again in here. So we created stationary supplies, so let's bring stationary supplies up. Put the invoice date on, if you click in the invoice date box you get a calendar appear, let's do the 10th of June. The due date is the 10th of July, the reason that's set at a month is I'll show you under settings, then account settings, invoice settings. You'll notice that the customer and credit days is set at 30, so it default puts 30, or defaultly puts 30 days on purchase invoices and we're on sales invoices. We can change that figure, you know, we could change it to 14, just click 14 and click save. It just saves you having to put the due date in each time you do an invoice. Now obviously all your suppliers are not going to have the same terms so I'd put in the default as 30 if the majority of suppliers are 30 days, the majority are 14 days put 14 just do what the majority are. If we wanted to change this due date just click let's say it's the 1st of July like so. The reference is the invoice number or invoice reference so that could be SSI45678 put in the description so let's put office paper and all this information will be on the invoice we then need to select the expense type if you click on the box you have a drop down list appear of all expense codes, so travel, entertainment, staff, professional fees, office costs, energy. This is office paper, we have office costs so we can put it under there. If you want to add a new expense type there's this create new at the bottom, just click on that, you can put the name in, put the rate of VAT and then if it's a direct expense or overhead so just to demonstrate we have office costs which I would book office paper under but let's just put stationary supplies in here no VAT overheads I've put no VAT because the majority of businesses that we use Sage One accounts would be, I'd guess, not VAT registered, but obviously put standard if you're VAT registered. So category overheads, click save. The quantity, so say we ordered 10 reams and they were £4 each. So of the, of the invoice is 40 and then any notes you want to add on the invoice then click save and our invoice will be created we go back to this purchase invoice list which is this list if you go expenses purchase invoices it's this list you can delete the invoice if you want to and it gives a payment status of unpaid so there's your invoice there if you click on it like I just did you can view 
the invoice in great detail. You can edit the invoice under manage invoice, click edit and you can edit the invoice, I'll show you like so. So you can add more expenses on, you could edit amounts, dates, edit anything you want, just click save after and it will save it. And you can also create a credit note under manage invoice there. So click on the invoice, go on manage invoice and create credit note if you want to credit this invoice. Okay, we'll now look at raising a sales invoice, which is also just very similar. It's a very easy package to use with this Sage One accounts.